quick far round called scenes we'd like to see this is for everyone so if you could all make your way over to the performance area i call it ideas for scenarios we'd love to see and the performers come in with their suggestions here we go <clears throat> the first subject is exam questions that were rejected with illustrations describe the prophet muhammad <laughs> Inadvised things to say in court Hey, Wiggy, I've done your door! <laughs> <laughs> TV shows that never made it to air. I'm Wayne Rooney, and welcome to Granny's Do the Filthiest Things. <laughs> things you wouldn't hear on a driving test. Right, when I say go, foot down, straight through the jewellers, get where you can. <laughs> <laughs> what the Queen didn't say in her Christmas message. And now, for an impression. You call me Mr. Bombastic. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually an elf. <laughs> Bad things for a teacher to say. I don't know the answer, Watkins. I just do this job for the holidays. <laughs> Rejected lines from movies. E.T. phone premium rate set. <laughs> My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, but on weekends, Marjorie. <laughs> Unlikely excerpts from a nature documentary. Welcome back to Pimp My Hippo. <laughs> Bad thing to say at the opening of the new Wembley Stadium. Can Mr. Bin Laden report to lost property, please? <laughs> Mr. Bin Laden. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on comic relief. Right, here's one for you. Three Ethiopians walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the Maasai tribe. When are we going to get that money for that eye dent we did? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next topic is the worst thing your new neighbour could say. I can see you when you sleep. <laughs> it's simple. Your dog and I are in love. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at Wimbledon. Would the working class family on Henman Hill kindly leave? <laughs> putting the middle classes off their strawberries, you know who you are, you filthy mudbloods. <laughs> now, here's a question, John. Nadal, could he turn you? <laughs> Cliff Richards there with a wonderful rendition of Dr. Dre's Bitches Ain't Shit. <laughs> what a newsreader would never say. You've sent in your emails and we've been reading them and my, my, aren't you a bunch of racist bigots? <laughs> the worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. Can somebody come to the salami slicer, please? <laughs> Unlikely lines from the final Harry Potter book. Uh, <laughs> Midway through the orgy, Ron winked at Harry. This is better than Quidditch, his eyes seem to say. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in an episode of Doctor Who. K9, stop humping the toaster! <laughs> <laughs> Bad ways for Gordon Brown to address the nation. <laughs> it's time you learnt the truth, Earthling! <laughs> <laughs> I'm G to the B, and this is how I roll. <laughs> you got beef with me, you kiss my A double S hole. 
on like lines to hear on a science program. I escaped from a petri dish! <laughs> <laughs> Questions omitted from the British citizenship test. Pat Butcher, shag or die? <laughs> <laughs> Boris Johnson, true or false? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in a TV show. No deal, Edmunds! You're gonna give me the money or I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Weird things to see on a road sign. Amarillo, this way. <laughs> You're lonely, aren't you, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear in the House of Lords. Please welcome our newest member, Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Bad things to hear on an aeroplane. Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> okay, the next topic is the worst person to be married to. I love you lots. Oh, let's see what Mr. Tiddles thinks of you. What do you think? <laughs> Die, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> but he's my dad. We do everything together. <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Wanted. One Spice Girls ticket and one gun. <laughs> Excerpts from DVDs I wouldn't sell. From the makers of Alien vs. Predator. Alien vs. Pingu. <laughs> Three love. I'm Ann Widdicombe and this is Naked Table Tennis. <laughs> What a news reporter would never say. Next on News 24, I'm going to punch a zebra. <laughs> Who cares? No one's watching. <laughs> Unlikely letters to be read out on points of view. Dear BBC, how did you manage to get those hippos to swim in a circle? <laughs> Dear point of view, has anyone else noticed that Pat Butcher looks a lot like the honey monster from the Sugar Pub family? <laughs> <laughs> what a rugby commentator would never say. Thick muscular necks, broken noses and powerful thighs. The rugby wives are minging. <laughs> the South Africans there passing to their one black player, Johnny Token. <laughs> Is unnerving things to hear during a medical examination. Oh my God! Come here, you've got to look at this! <laughs> <laughs> things you're unlikely to hear on a quiz show. For a million pounds, complete this well known phrase. The. <laughs> <laughs> things that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Doorbell! Excellent, that'll be Heather Mills and James Blunt. Opie's brought his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of you arrived, only one will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a superhero movie. I'm a superhero! Now, Russell, you've drawn an S on your forehead and you sprinkle glitter on your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely letters for an agony aunt to receive. Dear Deirdre, I'm leaving you. <laughs> My voice is breaking and there is hair on my chest. Is this normal? You're Sally Jenkins, <laughs> age nine. <laughs> Dear Deirdre, can that giant man lift me up like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you bet your asses, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you live! <laughs> Commercials that never made it to air. If you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll die. If you hit me at 30 miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll live. 
Stop trying to hit me. <laughs> the Daily Mail. Racist in public, so you don't have to be. <laughs> Max Mosey doesn't do Nazi-themed orgies, but if he did, they'd probably be the best <laughs> Nazi-themed orgies in the world. Bad things to say at a job interview. Hey! I remember you from the dungeon. How you doing? It's me, Gimpy Terry. <laughs> I'm Gimpy Terry's mate. <laughs> 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 what do you mean I'm underqualified to be a plumber? I'm five hours late. I've done a piss in your sink. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on Songs of Praise. They call him G.O.D. and he the big daddy. He look like me, but he more beardy. <laughs> Christians in one corner, Muslims in the other. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear at the Olympics. Now, over to the Paralympics with Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> <laughs> the leading British swimmer has had to pull out of the 400 metres freestyle because he couldn't find a pound for the locker. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a war film. There's only one way to settle this war, through the medium of dance. <laughs> Questions that were rejected from this year's exams. Using Darwin's theory of evolution, explain Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> on the diagram below, show on the body where you like to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a costume drama. Mr Darcy, I do believe you've poked me on Facebook. <laughs> Unlikely greetings cards. My heart goes out in sympathy. I know your life is torn. I can't believe your dear sweet mum caught you watching all that porn. <laughs> Things you didn't hear at the Olympics. That gymnast is so supple. If my wife could do that, we'd still be together. <laughs> the one thing we're all thinking during the Olympics, doesn't Claire Balding look like Eddie Izzard? <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi film. All right, Chewy, you look different after that back sack and crack wax. I've <laughs> 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 had that hairball in there for years. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. Next on Radio 4, the dogging forecast. <laughs> Next, more lesbian propaganda with Woman's Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on Question Time. Do I believe the economy's in recession? Well, I believe it was Churchill who said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Question Time, coming to you this week live from Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a travel documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're not Rod Gilbert. Prostitution is rife on the streets of Bangkok, so it really pays to shop around for a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside the Taj Mahal. In my opinion, the most beautiful, the most striking, the most awe-inspiring curry house on the Edgware Road. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a TV detective show. Fingerprints? I like his music, but that's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Watson, I couldn't care. I'm coked off my tits. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear from a weather forecaster. A hurricane tonight will be caused by low pressure and God's hatred of homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining cats and dogs last night. I should know. I was throwing them off my roof. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted lines from Star Trek. 
All right, which one of you ate my scotch egg? <laughs> Tell you what, Spock, your towel is a lot softer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be some changes around here. They call me Captain Tatty Bojangles. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a survival show. I'm in the Congo. Let's sell this once and for all. Do you boys like Umbungo? <laughs> <laughs> the villagers get up early and walk five miles to fetch clean water every day, which begs the question, why not move the village closer? <laughs> I'm Bear Grylls, and this is my brother, Wolf Stir Fry. <laughs> Unlikely things to read on a packet. Fair trade coffee. If you don't like it, you're racist. <laughs> Serving suggestion. On a plate, you thick moron. <laughs> Deleted lines from a fantasy film. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn. The heir to a Sildor and part of the Fellowship of the Ring. Please leave a message after the tone. <laughs> Did you find Narnia in the wardrobe? No, Edmund. We found your porn stash. <laughs> he stole it from me! My precious! My... Oh, no, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear from your flatmate. There's just two of us. Well, three if you count God. <laughs> hey, you said there wasn't enough room to swing a cat. Look at this. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer programme. I've just found out my jumper was made by Indian slave children. Can I just say they did a wonderful job? <laughs> on closer inspection, Mrs Wilkins, your hamster's jacuzzi would appear to be a food blender. <laughs> <laughs> we got there, the weather were crap, the food were crap, the locals were racist. What a bloody brilliant holiday! <laughs> Things a sports commentator would never say. Welcome to Robot Wars. Cruncher. Ready! Stephen Hawkins. Ready. <laughs> the Queen smashes Camilla in the face and Prince Philip hits her with a hammer. This is what I call a royal rumble. <laughs> Some people on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. The Chinese secret police have shot them. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a thriller. Miss Scarlet looked at him through the window. He had one massive testicle like a space hopper. <laughs> that was why they called him Professor Plum. <laughs> I have amnesia. The tattoos on my body will tell me what happened. Dara was here. <laughs> I'd been a serial killer for four years, but they'd never given me a nickname. Then, you bite one guy in the ass, <laughs> and suddenly you're the butt muncher. <laughs> ah, the butt muncher's got me! The butt muncher's got me! <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Bad things to say at a wedding. <laughs> and we will now sing hymn number 225, My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard. <laughs> So what, your best man's in an absolute state. That's my mum. <laughs> Bad things to hear at the psychiatrist. I see you've tried to commit suicide five times. Your dad was right. You are useless. <laughs> <laughs> OK, word association. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first thing that pops into your breasts. <laughs> I want you to go to your happy place. Judging by the size of you, that's probably Greg's. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV talent show. Hello, I'm Rita. I'm 87, and I'm going to do Keep You Up With Me Boobs. Here we go. <laughs> hey. I'm like bloody Ronaldo. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> no, my magical racist cat. They come over here. They steal our bloody jobs. <laughs> I'm not having it. 
Things you wouldn't want to hear at work. So, you probably want to know how I got the nickname Dog Botherer. <laughs> <laughs> We've run out of semi skim, so I've topped your coffee up with breast milk. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a property program. I'm Sarah Beanie and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Next on location, 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 Kirsty and Phil finally go at it like dogs. <laughs> Rejected questions from this year's exams. What colour does a Smurf go when we choke it? What is the name of the force that pulls objects towards the centre of the Earth? Is it A, gravity, or B, magic? <laughs> Hitler, Pol Pot, Genghis Khan. Shag, marry or kill? <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV business show. Our invention lets you know whether or not a girl fancies you. We call it beer. <laughs> Today, there was a hard drop on the footsie, and I got a bruisey on my handy wandy. <laughs> Bad things to hear from a tour guide. <laughs> Please don't take photos of the natives, because they believe that you're taking part of their soul. Apart from that, enjoy Norwich. <laughs> Let's have a little song, shall we? da na 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 Unlikely things to hear on a breakfast show. Welcome to Travel Report. We've got a text here from Dave on the M5 who says, Ha, 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 every morning you leave for work, I pop round and shag your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm doing a survey into the effects of replacing milk on your Weetabix with Red Bull! <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a horror movie. He's making a suit out of women's skin. Gok Wan has gone too far this time. <laughs> From the makers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes the Swindon Lawnmower Kerfuffle. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a children's TV programme. Are your mummy and daddy out of the room? Good. Listen, you're adopted. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear at a party conference. I'm going to turn my back for one minute and I want whoever stole David Blunkett's dog to put it back. <laughs> In an attempt to be more like Barack Obama, Gordon Brown has sensationally blacked up. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a history documentary. Now follows a documentary about the Queen Mother which contains nudity and strong language from the start. <laughs> on one side of battle stood William of Orange. On the other side, Charles of O2 and Richard of Vodafone. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on Crime Watch. <laughs> Police say they are looking for a black man in his 20s and that they always will be. All the victims are deaf, dumb, or blind. These are senseless killings. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear in a TV election debate. Labour, ready! Tories, ready! <laughs> Bring on the wall! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know, pick. What's your real name? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at an awards ceremony. Welcome to the Islamic Awards for Acting, or as we call them, the Moscas. <laughs> and the award for special effects goes to the team behind Gordon Brown's smile. <laughs> I'd bang that, I'd bang that, wouldn't bang that, I'd bang that. <laughs> anyway, the award for best actress goes to... <laughs> things you wouldn't want to hear on a cruise. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Somali Cruises. <laughs> if you look to your left, there's a man eating squid. After that, he's having chips. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rita's erotic ping pong bingo. <laughs> Two fat ladies, eh? 
Oh, some hobnobs. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear in a fitness video. Oi, right. we're gonna Ross Kemp on leotards. <laughs> Welcome to Masturbate Yourself Thin. <laughs> Remember, swap arms or you'll end up looking like a wonky Popeye. <laughs> hey, wanna lose weight and gain a friend? Why not insert a tapeworm? <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in a Hollywood blockbuster. Nemo, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> It's he got bone. Mmm, <laughs> cracking heroin grommets. <laughs> <laughs> oi, 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 Hermione, Kokos in Gorgio. <laughs> right? Unlikely things to read in a Valentine's Day card. I may be dyslexic, but that doesn't mean I don't vole you. <laughs> be my valentine or die in a well. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, I love you like no other, but never again les up with my mother. <laughs> oh, I'm likely to hear in a science programme. Next, to demonstrate chaos theory, we've locked Boris Johnson in a room with an aardvark and some magic mushrooms. <laughs> Apart from the human, the only animal to enjoy having sex is a dolphin. I had to shag a lot of animals to find that out. <laughs> I'm a meerkat, she's not lying. <laughs> with their tiny arms, could the T-Rex self-pleasure? Let's find out in another edition of Wanking with Dinosaurs. <laughs> Unlikely things to get through your letterbox. Just three pounds a month will save last year's X Factor winner from starving. <laughs> Why has your girlfriend stopped changing near the window? Love, Dad. <laughs> Open your letterbox. It's me! <laughs> Get through one day. <laughs> okay, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear at the Winter Olympics. And now over to Bob Sled. Bob, how's the curling? <laughs> <laughs> the ski jump will start as soon as the British skier takes his hand off the side and stops crying. <laughs> Commercials that never aired. Want to dress like you've got no GCSEs? Come on down to JJB! <laughs> Fed up with your dull grey hair? Get used to it. You're a squirrel. <laughs> I'm a rabbit, and they test makeup on me. But I don't mind, cos I'm a bit of a slag. <laughs> Christmas every day with new Brussels sprout flavoured condoms. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like grandma's ankles. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear in hospital. I'm afraid it's the big C. It fell off the sign at Curry's and hit your wife on the head. <laughs> you have a cute angina and your tits aren't bad either. <laughs> I don't like the look of the charts, Mr. Wilkins. Dizzy rascal at number one. <laughs> Unlikely lines to read in the Bible. Noah noticed that the ark was sinking. He hated woodpeckers. <laughs> Jesus was born in a stable. So in many years later, when he left the door open and people said, were you born in a barn? He could say, yes, I was actually. <laughs> The Last Supper was a disaster. We're never going to Nando's again, lads. <laughs> Things you won't hear your sat-nav say. 
Don't be angry, but while you were getting petrol, I shagged your iPod. <laughs> I'll tell you what, darling, how about you get out of the car and let your husband park? <laughs> Bare left. And over to the right, squirrel! <laughs> left. Left. Your girlfriend's left. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at the World Cup. I'll tell you what, that Nelson Mandela's a bit of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw African kids this excited, Madonna was at their school with a net. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Emmanuel Adebayo. I understand exactly what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely letters to television channels. Dear Channel 5, your recent documentary on dyslexia was insightful and sensitive. Please show the boy was shit for brains again. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Al Jazeera, please bring back your hit sitcom, Men Behaving Baghdadly. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Channel 4, why not liven up Deal or No Deal by putting a nail bomb in one of the boxes? <laughs> Bad things to say on a first date. The last time I was in this nightclub, I was still a man. <laughs> oh, I see. So when you put bubbly on the advert, you meant fat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! How pissed was I when I asked you out? <laughs> Not as pissed as I was when I said yes. <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in a disaster movie. From the makers of Snakes on a Plane come snails in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> the ship is sinking. I don't care. I'm a duck. Rejected questions from this year's exams. Wayne lives three miles away from Kaylee, and Martin lives six miles away from Wayne. Who got her pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> if you removed a man's lower intestine and stretched it as far as it could go, how angry would he be? <laughs> <laughs> Henry VIII loved the bitches. Discuss. <laughs> Things you won't hear in a gardening programme. And that, folks, is how you get rid of a body. <laughs> and now, over to our lawnmower expert, Stumpy Jeff. Hi, guys! <laughs> Why grow flowers like this when you can steal them from a traffic black spot? Over here is a wonderful water feature, like in Brussels, of a small boy pissing. <laughs> this one's from Thailand, and I pay him 20 pence a week. <laughs> he ain't lying. It's good money. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to read in a political memoir. I thought I'd press the button that summoned the tea lady. Imagine my surprise when it turned out I bombed Russia. <laughs> We'd sometimes break up boring cabinet meetings by convincing David Blunkett he was black. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a medical documentary. I know you're a teenage mother, but nobody will patronise you here. Come through to the slag ward. <laughs> <laughs> Next, he was put in a cat scanner. Unfortunately, the cat was still in it. <laughs> Brian is 75 stone. He hasn't left the house for three years. What a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da!